Yes. Yes. And I remember when you came out to Arizona and you were passing through and you shifted from uh, somebody who I knew from a co convention to someone that I got to know as a friend and really a sister because you and your six children, was it five at the time? Five of them with you, I believe, moved in with my husband and I for a little while in our apartment in Arizona. And while we sat there, what did we do? We wrote a book. You asked me questions and we wrote a book and it was really interesting because you pretty much so know 99% of everything. And I was at a point in my life with the first book where I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. The feelings and emotions were everywhere. I mean, they were from one end of the spectrum to the other. And you helped me through the questions that you asked me to put it all on paper and get it out of me so that I would stop carrying it around, which is quite interesting because normally if I'm going through something, I'm a journaler anyway. But even through journaling, there were some deep emotions that I was not able to tap into until you asked me the questions that you had asked me. And I don't know if you remember or not, but when we first wrote that book, I was concerned because it was all bullet statements, in my humble opinion. And I was like, how are my bullet statements going to reach someone? This, this, how is this going to inspire someone? How is this going to encourage them? But in my experience, out of those who, because at first I did a self-publishing, I was not aware of this whole Amazon KDP stuff until I met my current coach, Fatima. And thank you, Fatima, for all of that. I greatly appreciate that. And being able to get it out there for the world to see. And, but for me, when I first wrote that very first book, you know, it was it was more of a healing process for me. And it truly helped to heal all my anger, my frustrations, my who am I going to be now? How am I going to do this? Oh my gosh, I'm a single mom with six kids. What in the world am I going to do? I mean, just all those combinations of thoughts and feelings that were going through my head at that time. And Every once in a while, I still pick up that first book. If I'm experiencing something or something is going wild and crazy. And the reason I do that is to remind myself of where I was and where I am now and how far I truly have come. As people, we... You know, we don't need any help, honestly, with people beating us up because we are our own worst critic. And so when I'm experiencing something and I'm in that spot for whatever reason and just beating myself up, sometimes I won't even purposely look for my book, but I'll be doing something else and I'll run across my book and I'm like, hmm, maybe I should pick that up and read that again. And every time I do, it just reminds me where I was, where I started, how far I truly have come. Am I complete yet? Oh, heck no. <laughs> I won't be complete until I'm done living my life. <laughs> life has a crazy adventure. And you helped me through that first book to, to get to that point of, of understanding how life is an adventure. And some of the things that we go through as an individual, we have the choice to use it as a crutch or an excuse to not move forward, or we could use it as a stepping stone. And I so greatly appreciate you helping me, teaching me, showing me how to use it as a stepping stone. 